morning. It is a beautiful morning to go book hunting with the bestie. I found this secondhand store called Second and Charles that I wanted to check out. I've never been. Apparently, according to the pictures, they have lots and lots of books. I wanna maybe see if I can find and buy and add to my TBR. First, we gotta find my friend. Oh, we're the uh, Taylor Swift or the Beyonce fans. There she is, I found her. I read this one, or audio read it, audio listened, and I really enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something to read, it starts off a little bit wonky and a little bit slow, first few chapters, but if you can get past those, fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed this. How cool this is, I love it. What is it? It's a blind date with a book. You don't know what book it is, but somebody left a description. See? A house that's home to a mass murder. So you pick something that appeals to you, but you don't know what you're getting. I'm going on a blind date. It looks kind of open, but I didn't peek. I'm picking this one. A couple is found dead in their home. No signs, a forced entry, and despite the emptied safe, it's clear. This murder isn't random. When a killer has nothing to lose, there's every reason to be afraid. Recommended by Zaria. You're picking murder mystery? It's so vague. This one is chilling, satisfying thriller in this murder mystery. Recommended by CC. This place is amazing. This is going to be my new favorite place. Okay, so the music's really, really loud, so I don't know how much of this I'll be able to vlog. I ended up with four books. Jill ended up with two. That restaurant was so loud. I don't know if you guys can hear me. So we're gonna do another unboxing here. The first one I found in the clearance section. This one was $3. The spine caught my attention for some reason. I think it was this booger looking splatter maybe. Then I picked it up and then the cover really grabbed my attention. Small things like this, details like this excite me, I guess. Apparently it's about like deadly rain says here it's in the rain and just one drop will kill you and I was like ooh all right interesting sold three dollars then I got Frankenstein by Mary Shelley of course a classic I've already read this I read this I'm sure back in like high school or college or something but I am currently writing I'm working on a story that might have like some Frankenstein elements to it so I want to read it again just maybe for some inspiration and stuff this one was a dollar 75 so you can't go wrong Wicked. I've never seen the play. The movie's coming out, I think, in November this year. I've never read the book. God, this book is kind of thick. It kind of scares me. But again, I'm also writing a story, like a reimagining of a fairy tale. And since the movie's coming out, I said, ah, eh, let me pick up Wicked. This one was $7.20. And this one was three. So we'll see what this one is. I don't think I've ever read a book with a dead couple. So that's why this one kind of jumped out at me. Lisa Jackson, do you know who Lisa Jackson is? Oh. <laughs> so this one's called Willing to Die by a New York, uh, number one New York Times bestselling author. All right, your turn. Okay. Chilling, satisfying thriller. It's like Christmas. You're like opening a present. It's Christmas paper. It is. Oh, Tammy oh, The Bitter Season. Jill likes humorous books. And mystery. And adventure. The other cool thing about this book is that it is an ex-library book. They've covered it and everything yeah. with this plastic cover. So you see it's got the library stamps on there, which I do like library books. I like old library books. And now it's time to eat. Alright, let's go home. Hi. How are you feeling, baby girl? Are you frozen? What are you doing? Why are you giving me the side eye? What the heck? <laughs> Where are you being? 
can do it. Come on. Summer's coming up, so I got I got a little bit of homework here for my summer read. So I'm excited about that. I'm trying to read more. I recently joined Goodreads. I don't know if you guys are on there. This is my Goodreads right here. If you want to add me as a friend. If you guys have any book recommendations, leave them down in the comments below. Let me know. And then I picked this up at GameStop. It's not my size. It's the only one they had. It's an extra, extra large. I like the color. I like the cute little mushroom kingdom here. I like the retro lettering and this I just look how cute it is I love it it's really big on me but it's cozy it's my big cozy giant sweatshirt oh hi 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 thanks for coming along guys on my Saturday my cozy fun little Saturday so you guys probably noticed this mess behind me and so we're gonna clean it now all clean until next time, guys, remember to always be stronger, and I'll see you in the next video. Blogger out.